but this one has low, medium, high, and room temperature. Girl, that's nice. Room temperature? Let me, like, I want to try that out. Mm -hmm. It got me super straight results in just 15 minutes. I know what I would choose. Just saying. I'm happy. Girl, I'm super, super happy with the results. This is the perfect Dyson dupe. Hey, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Amber. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing two hair dryers, okay? Uh, two diffusers for naturally curly hair, okay? So I'm gonna be comparing my all-time favorite, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. You know that I use this. I've been using this since day one, since it came out, because it just works so well. But I'm gonna be comparing it to a new diffuser specifically made for curly girls. And I'm talking about the Tymo Air Hype, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys this hair dryer in close up in a second. And the reason why I wanna do this comparison video is because this one, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, is so good, it works so well but it's expensive. This hair dryer costs like $400, 400 euros, which sometimes is almost half of people's rent, you know, for their homes, apartments, mortgage. You can't lie about the fact that Dyson products work well, but they're just not budget friendly, okay? When Tymo sent me over this product, because this is apparently comparable to the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer, but for half of the price. And that's interesting. And so what I'm looking for is the same results, but for less of the price. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know how it's gonna be. This is the first time I'm gonna try it out on my hair, and I hope it will have the same effect as my trustworthy Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. And if you haven't heard from Tymo before, it's basically a brand that develops hair tools. And girl, let me tell you, I tried their hair straightening brush in the past, and then I also tried their two-in-one straightener and curler in the past. Love them, love them. Guys, I made videos about this. Um, I will put it here on the screen so you can check them out if you want to, but their products are great. The products that I tried so far are amazing because they're super budget friendly. The quality is amazing. My results come out cute every time. So yeah, I definitely trust Tymo with every product that they come out with. They have a, a several different products that are super interesting. So definitely check them out, okay? So this is how the hairdryer looks. Um, super lightweight and slim and I like this design it has a nice grip and to be honest it's almost similar like the Dyson supersonic hair dryer this one is just a bit bigger that's all so I like that and it also comes with a few attachments Ooh, this is what I like this attachment is what I like. I love me a comb attachment to blow dry my hair because for Dyson, I had to buy this separately. So that was not so fun. So that was like 40 euros or something like that. But this one comes inside of the box if you buy the Tymo Air Hype, okay? And it also comes with another nozzle, which is where I'm uh, here. Okay, so this is just like a concentrated nozzle if you want to blow dry your hair on a specific target or if you just like to use a paddle brush or a round brush to blow dry your hair. Like I said, this hair dryer is designed for curly girls because this diffuser comes with a special thingy right here that you can push like this and it makes the teeth longer or shorter. It's up to your liking, okay? And they say that the longer teeth help to lift the roots, the short teeth help to just hold your curls and to create bouncy curls uh, that will stay bouncy, okay? Wow! It has a digital screen. Oh, this is a sticker. No, it's real. It, it's flickering because I'm filming this, but in real life, it's just stands still. That's always the case with electronics, with digital screens. It flickers, but don't worry about that, okay? It's, in real life, it's just normal, okay? Where do I turn it on? Here, right? That is actually very silent. This is the Tymo.
The sound levels are actually the same. So when it comes to the silent feature of the Timo Air Hype, it's definitely the same as the Dyson, okay? They're, they sound both the same. But what is actually interesting is that this Dymo Air Hype has four different heat settings. Dyson has three, like low, medium, high, right? But this one has low, medium, high, and room temperature. Girl, that's nice. Room temperature? Let me, like, I want to try that out. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the features, it's almost the same. Some things that I already like is the digital screen with the temperature settings and all. The temperature is shown here and the diffuser and the comb attachment. I like them because for Dyson, you all have to buy the attachment separately, which adds up to the price. And all these things are included in the box. So that's definitely something that will save your coins. And that's already a win for me. But will it have the same results though? Okay, I just styled my hair with just two hair products really quick, a curl defining cream and then a gel. And now, you know, you can see there's equal amount of product on each side. My hair is nicely divided and I'm gonna put those two hair dryers to the test. So I'm definitely gonna start with the Timo Air Hype because I've tried this many times, I know it works, so yeah. By the way, this hair dryer is also heat regulated. It has this feature that it doesn't overheat, same as the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer, so you will not get heat damage or it will just not become super hot when you are busy drying your hair and that's a huge thing because some hair dryers, girl, you know they're hot, okay? So. Wow, okay, my hair feels so soft. Wow. My hair is like 99% dry right now and my roots are lifted. So this diffuser attachment does work with the long teeth and the short teeth. I actually never saw this before ever. So I was just like doing like this and it did lift my roots a little bit so yeah this is first day hair guys and my first day hair never comes out like this okay so i'm super excited for this one because my curls are soft and especially because i finished off with like the room temperature setting oh my god i love that that's genius that is definitely a nice nice touch to this hair dryer i'm touching my hair constantly and there's no frizz usually when i do that there's a little bit of frizz going on but now it's just like my curls are good they are dry and they are going to stay like this i can definitely tell so that's what i like so yeah i had a good experience I'm gonna diffuse this side with my dyson supersonic hair dryer okay Okay, I'm done diffusing this side, almost 100% dry. Okay, just a few spots here and there, but nothing too major. This side had a little bit more time to air dry before, uh, but it did work faster. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I see a clear difference, okay? I just see a difference. Even though I use the same techniques to apply my products, I use the same amount of products, I didn't do anything differently. I did the same technique to diffuse my hair on both sides, and the Dyson side seems a little bit more voluminous, but definitely a little bit more frizzy than this side. Still, like my hair is 100% dry. I keep on running my hands through my hair and nothing's happening. That's definitely because of the room temperature setting. But with this one, I actually just did my usual routine, the hot setting, and sometimes I did a cold setting every once in a while. Uh, nothing too special, but <laughs> yeah. This one I'm gonna use from now on in my videos. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm just saying. So girl, tell me, which side is your preference? Will you use the $400 hair diffuser or the $200 hair diffuser, considering how it looks? Let me know in the comment section, okay? I know what I would choose. Just saying. Okay, so it's the next day and I washed my hair again because I do wanna try out the comb attachment. Like I said earlier, I love me a comb attachment because this blow dries your hair super fast 
and it makes the whole process easier okay so i always use a comb attachment to blow dry my hair to get the most straight results ever so to blow dry my hair i'm gonna use my shea moisture blow dry cream i love this product because it gives me like sleek no frizz blowout looks and it moisturizes my hair at the same time so i don't know why they stopped selling this this is like my last jar and i'm really holding on to this because this is so so good i cannot find this anywhere else so yeah that's sad but hey it is what it is. So I just washed and conditioned my hair again. I'm gonna be applying a little bit of my blow dry cream. A little bit goes a long way. Like I said, love this product, but hey. And I'm gonna time it, okay? So let's begin. This is how long it took me eventually to blow dry half of my head. So my whole head would take me just about like 30 minutes or so, which is still very good. Okay, I thought it would take me a little bit longer because this attachment, like I said, is a bit small, <laughs> but it's okay though. It got me super straight results in just 15 minutes. So that's a win for me. My hair is straight, it feels good, it feels soft because I finished off with the cold setting and I'm happy. The comb attachment definitely got my approval. You guys saw me use my Dyson comb attachment plenty of times already on my channel for years now and it gives me the same results in maybe a little bit faster time because you know that comb attachment is like big um, compared to this one but still. 15 minutes for half of my head? <laughs> That's still a win for me, okay? So I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with the results. So lastly, I wanna show you guys my full curly hair routine uh, with the usual products that I use on my hair and put this hair dryer, this diffuser again to the test. So I'm gonna use my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner to start with to moisturize my hair and to detangle my hair real quick with my Tangle Teaser. And then I'm going to use my As I Am Double Butter Cream to moisturize again. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Like this makes my curls pop and it hydrates my hair so so well and I'm gonna finish off with my kinky curly curling custard to define my curls okay so I'm gonna put those three products in my hair in that order okay um, on small sections on my hair so yeah that's basically my go-to curly hair routine that make my curls pop every time I know this routine works on my hair but I just want to see like does this diffuser will give me some frizz eventually with these products I don't know I don't know so I just wanted to put it to the test again so definitely keep on watching for the ultimate finished results <music> So I'm currently diffusing my hair and I played around with the temperature settings a bit. Um, it was always on high speed, but sometimes I use like the hottest setting, sometimes the lowest setting, sometimes room temperature settings. And I think that's the reason why my hair is less frizzy than usual because you know, usually my hair is just a bit frizzy, but right now my curls are super defined still and my hair is almost 100% dry. So yeah, playing with the settings is definitely something that you need to do with this okay, one so i just did a quick wash and go okay it took me like 40 minutes to style my hair and then it took me about 35 minutes in total to dry my hair with the diffuser and honestly i'm happy girl i'm super super happy with the results because i constantly finished off with the room temperature setting and i got the feeling that my curls are locked now like i say earlier like it it feels like my curls are going nowhere and there's no frizz it feels soft it feels good i usually don't like my first day hair but with this one i'm super 
like satisfied with how it turned out um, because I still got the definition, but I also got a little bit of volume and that combination is perfect for me, okay? And girl, honestly, this is the perfect Dyson dupe. It's half of the price, but it gives the same results and it has like the same features basically. So why not save some money? <laughs> so I tried the diffuser, I tried the comb attachment and those two work well. The only thing that I would wish if this was just a little bit bigger so I can blow dry my hair in bigger sections, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it still works amazingly. As you guys saw earlier, diffuser is a win as well. So I don't know like what I need more in a hair dryer. Like what do I need more? It's just perfect. So let me know in the comment section if you would like me to review another product of Tymo. They have a ton of tools. Check out the website, the link is in my description box. So I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions about this hair dryer or other questions, leave it down below in the comment section as well and I will get back to you as soon as I can if I see the comment. And I'ma see you guys soon in my next video, girl. Bye bye.